Hey guys, Tammy here, back with another video. So today I'm going to share with you my post-Accutane quarantine empties. So all of these products, I'm either on my second or third empty, meaning I've bought them at least two to three times already. They are products that I truly, truly love. And before quarantine, um, when we were able to have, you know, able to go out and I was actually driving to work, um, I was hesitant on trying new products because, because I have sensitive skin. Um, sometimes I run the risk of having a negative reaction that I would have to deal with for a few days. So I was very hesitant in trying products because number one, if I had a negative reaction, I would either have to go to work um, and cover it up or, you know, I ran the risk of going to um, having something planned and having some sort of, you know, rash or breakout or something like that. So I was very hesitant in trying new products. But since we've been home, I've been more ballsy in trying products. So all of these products I really love. Some of these products are travel size. And the reason why they're travel size is because when I try a new product, I just buy the, the small one just in case it doesn't work out for me. Um, usually if it doesn't work out for me, I'll give it to my sister or I'll just trash it. Um, or I'll give it to friends or I'll just trash it. So um, I'd rather spend the money on a travel size, which is usually less than $20, than buy the full size. I do understand like Sephora and other um, beauty companies out there, they're really generous with their return policy. And even if you buy a full size product um, and you try it out and you return it, you do get your money back. But I personally just think it's kind of like a hassle. Number one, you have to go out of your way to return it, wait for the money to come back. And number two, I feel like it's such a waste of a product to buy the full one because once you return it, they're obviously not going to repackage it and resell it, I would hope. So it kind of just goes to waste. So some of these are travel size products, but um, let's just get started before I keep talking and talking. So number one, um, is this Kiehl's Calendula alcohol-free toner. Um, so this has calendula um, petals in it. Okay. It's for normal and oily skin or also sensitive skin. So I have combination skin, um, more so dry than oily, but when I tried this product, I really, really loved it. So I use it in the morning and at night as a toner. I'll put it on a cotton pad and I'll just, you know, put it all over my skin. Um, and once I put it on, your skin feels so soothed and refreshed. Um, it feels a little tingly, but not tingly where, you know, some of those serums that have chemicals in it, when you put it on, you're thinking like, wow, you know, it's really working on my skin. I feel the tingle. There's chemistry going on in there. Not that kind of tingle. It's more of a like, it's refreshed, it's ready, it's like prepped for whatever you're going to put after that. So I really love that. This bottle is 4.2 ounces and it is $24. Um, I think the next size up, it's a huge, huge bottle and it's basically more than double and I think it's like $40. So I think the next time I buy this, I will buy the big, big size um, because I love it so much and it smells amazing. All right, next we have this CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. Um, and this is uh, the CeraVe line um, where they have like an AM and a PM. So this restores the protective barrier. It has ceramides and it is non-comedogenic, which means that it does not clog pores, um, which who doesn't love that, right? But this moisturizer, it's so lightweight. Um, it's fragrance free. Um, what I don't recommend is using it under your makeup. I did try this. Um, I put this on and then I put a primer and then I put foundation on it. It wasn't terrible, but it didn't glide on as smooth, which is fine because I usually don't wear makeup these days anyway. So like, like I said, working from home, after I put on my serum, I just slap this on and call it a day. Super lightweight. And it's only $13. Like this thing probably works way better than products out there that are like $50 so super affordable next we have this Ule Henriksen vitamin C truth serum so I freaking love this product so this product it brightens it firms and it fights aging it is um it has antioxidants 
it has antioxidants and it also has collagen in it. Um, this will always be a part of my skincare routine. Um, number one, when you put it on, it has like a refreshing citrus smell. If you don't like citrus smells, it is pretty strong, then you definitely won't like this product. But when I put it on, it feels, it smells so good. It kind of like wakes me up in the morning, which is perfect. Not only does it wake me up in the morning, um, it glides on super smooth. Like when I pump it onto my hand and I put it on my skin, I don't even, I put zero pressure on my fingers and it just like glides on and it absorbs within like seconds. So I really like how it absorbs really quickly because I don't know about you guys, but if a product takes too long to soak in, I usually forget to do the rest of my skincare because I'll put on the product and I will be waiting for it to absorb and I'll do something else and then I'll forget. Um, so I feel like absorption is super key. The thing about this is it's kind of pricey. So this is the small, small bottle. This little bottle is $24. Um, the one ounce is 50 and then the 1.7 ounce is 74. Um, but they usually have sales on this, like Sephora and the Ule website. Like I think I got, so I went through two trial sizes because I got this and another product for $17 on sale, which was phenomenal pricing. So I did that. Um, but yeah, if you don't get it on sale, it is pretty pricey, but it is definitely worth it. I basically slather it all over my skin and my neck and I just feel refreshed and ready to take on the day. All right, next we have this Biosance Squalene Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. <laughs> Such a mouthful, right? Um, so this product, I will, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to say this about every single product, but this literally makes me feel so freaking good in the morning. So basically what this does, it resurfaces, it brightens, and it evens your skin tone because it has AHA in it. Um, so this bottle right here is $62, and it, this is only one ounce. <laughs> so it is pretty pricey, but um, if you want to try this out, if you go to the Biosense website um, and you go to the sample I think it's either titled sample or travel size section. You can get this along with the Phyto Retinol Serum, the test ones, for $7. Um, and shipping is free. So that's how I got put onto this item because I didn't want to spend $62 on this entire thing. So I spent $7. Like $7 free shipping for two items. And this one came out excellent day. Like I wake up in the morning, my skin is like baby's butt. It's supple. It's bright. Like... I'm getting older, so sometimes I have, like, saggy, tired skin, but, like, I woke up feeling and looking super refreshed and just renewed. All right, next we have another CeraVe item. So this is a CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. So this is a night cream, so it's very, very, very heavy. Um, it basically it does the same thing. It softens and renews. Um, it has ceramides just like the other one, just like this one. So CeraVe is known for their ceramide um, ingredients. So it restores protective barriers. It's fragrance-free, and it's also for normal to oily skin. So it says it's fragrance-free, but honestly, it kind of smells like hospital, which smells don't really bother me, but it kind of smells like that. But this is a heavy, heavy cream, um, and I am very generous with it. So... Um, and this is $13 and this works super, super good. But when I tell you guys, these two together are like sorcery. Like when I put this on and then I use this as a cream, when I wake up in the morning, my face is like a baby's butt and it's super white and supple and just renewed, resurfaced. Awesome. These two together. Awesome. Awesome. All right, next we have a Ule Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. So this moisturizer is supposed to kind of be with this. It's supposed to go together. Um, so you use this one in the morning with this moisturizer after, and then there's like another nighttime serum. So I really like this moisturizer because it is 
lightweight, it has no smell, an even skin tone, it smooths your texture, and it's also for dark spots and discoloration. So I don't have dark spots, but I have, you know, acne scars. So anything that kind of resurfaces and kind of, you know, makes those spots or scars go away, I'm all for. What I really love about this um, versus this, because I would use it interchangeably, is that this one you can use in the morning and at nighttime. So let's say you're traveling and you really want to pack light, um, just bring this. And then you can use this in the morning because it's lightweight and you can use it at night because um, it's just as effective as a night cream. This is a little expensive too. Um, this one is $40 and there's a small travel size one that's $12. And this kind of has a smell too. Yeah, it kind of has like a I'm bad at describing hospital smell, but it's like very light. It's like a clean, like too clean hospital smell. Not Windex clean, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Just go check it out. <laughs> All right, next we have the Linnea sleeping mask. So I'm sure everybody talks about this. This is $22. It's freaking amazing. Um, when I was on Accutane, I would use this like on the daily, not just at night, um, because my skin was so cracked and it really helped it moisturize um, throughout the day. The one thing I don't like about this, it's it's not meant to be you know brought around with you, so it's annoying to like open it, grab the scooper, scoop it in, put it on your lips, clean the scooper. It's just like a whole like program just to use this, but. <laughs> It's awesome. Um, another reason why I like this is because when I don't wear makeup, my skin is pretty white. Um, it's pretty fair only because I'm trying to resurface it to get rid of those um, craters in my face. So um, my skin is pretty pale, pretty fair. I also self tan my body, but not my face. So um, it's just very fair. Um, and my lips are very pigmented. So my lips are very like reddish light purple so when I put this on this has kind of like a little tint to it like a little pinky blushy so it kind of mutes the pigment in my lips which I really like because then it kind of evens out with my skin color um, when I have no makeup on so love 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 this um, but what I wanted to share with you on top of that which is not an empty is now that I have I have that one and I bought this one so this is a gummy bear one which I don't like as much because it smells like Robitussin. I mean, it smells like grape, and I don't associate gummy bears with grape, um, so I don't know why it smells like grape, but I bought this. I still like the way it works. It just doesn't give me the color that I like for my pigmented lips. It actually makes it look more pigmented because it's purple, but still does the same thing. This is not an empty. I just wanted, that was a little ad lib for Linnae, <laughs> Linnae Lip Mask. All right, we are at our last product now. So this is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. And I used to be blonde, like bleach blonde for a really long time. And then I kind of backed up with the bleach and did ombre balayage, backed up even more and just did balayage. So I've been kind of decreasing the amount of bleach that is exposed to my hair and now I have black hair. But this bonding oil really helped my split ends and my breakage um, when I had blonde hair and I still use it today with my black hair. But what I would do is um, when I get out the shower, I only wash my hair two times a week. When I get out of the shower, I, you know, your hair follicles are still open, the pores are still open. So I smack this on the direction, say two to three drops, but I do like five to seven to ten. <laughs> because I only use it twice a week and I just smother it and I put it on my ends, take the rest and I put it on the rest of my hair, let my hair kind of like soak that in for like 20 minutes. And then if I decide to blow dry my hair, then I will blow dry my hair. But I think that's the key important part of using this is um, use it when your follicles are open. I mean, it definitely helps when you use it and even when your hair is dry and you use it as kind of a heat protectant because it is for shine, softness, no frizz, and UV heat protectant up to 450 degrees. So that's what it's for, but I think it's really effective when you use it when your hair is a little damp, towel dried. 
So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you thought this was really helpful. I hope you try out the products and I hope they are as effective for your skin as they were for mine. Um, I'll try to leave the links in the video. I think a lot of these items are pretty easy, easily searched, but I will try to put the links in. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to learn more about my Accutane experience, go ahead and check out that video. Um, if you like what you see so far, you know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next video.